Hello, welcome back to bcbamockexam.com to watch out fourth video discussing section A of the fifth edition of BCBA task list. Our topic today is A04, distinguish among behaviorism, the experimental analysis of behavior, applied behavior analysis, and professional practice guided by the science of behavior analysis. Subscribe to our channel so that you can receive free learning materials from us to further assist you in preparing for the exam. The first concept is behaviorism. It's the guiding philosophy of behavior science. It focuses on the idea that behavior is a result of interactions between individuals and the environment. Behaviorism assumes that behavior is either a reflex evoked by the pairing of certain antecedent stimuli in the environment, or a consequence of that individual's history, including especially reinforcement and punishment contingencies together with the individual's current motivational state and controlling stimuli. A case example is that the client didn't tantrum because they were mad. The tantrum was a result of environmental slash individual interaction. The second concept is experimental analysis of behavior. It is the study of behavior principles to be later used outside of the experimental setting representing a school of thought in psychology based upon radical behaviorism that calls for inductive, data-driven approaches to establishing functional relations between antecedents and behaviors. It is not applied research. For example, you work in a lab with rats, and you do operant behavior research on the rats, but you don't apply that outside your lab. The third idea is applied behavior analysis. It refers to applying behavior principles to research in offices, clinics, schools, etc. on human subjects. In other words, applied behavior analysis is a scientific approach to understanding behavior, representing a set of principles that focus on how behaviors change or are affected by the environment, as well as how learning takes place. The term behavior refers to skills and actions needed to talk, play, and live. A straightforward example is that you are studying the effects of punishments on your RBTs. The last concept is professional practice guided by the science of behavior analysis. It indicates the delivery of interventions to consumers that are guided by the principles of behaviorism and the research of both the experimental analysis of behavior and applied behavior analysis. All the actual interventions taking place in the real world are effectively professional practice guided by the science of behavior analysis. And that wraps up our discussion today. See you guys next time. Visit our website for study guide and exam practice and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn for free exam questions and discount coupons.